Hello students, this is your course on Digital Marketing Basics. In this video on devising digital marketing strategy, we are going to discuss about building digital marketing channel structure. Now we have discussed each component of digital marketing and each channel of digital marketing in detail in uh, separate cha chapters. This is a sort of a summation of all that and how it factors into the digital marketing strategy development. Once you have information pertaining to who your customer is, what is their profile or persona, where exactly can you reach them, what are your strengths and weaknesses that would allow you to reach them and service them, and how exactly do you want to tap into each target market segment in order to derive best possible marketing campaign results you need your channels to be in place so that is technically the next step wherein you understand your market you understand your customer you understand your product and now you start designing a channel structure which will tell you that what are the activities you need to do from a digital marketing point of view where are the aspects that you'll need to invest in both in-house and agency-wise in order to now communicate your value and take your message, take your communication to the customer via different digital marketing channels. So this is a typical digital marketing channel structure that captures paid marketing, organic search or SEO and web traffic trafficking as its important hierarchical levels. Now, as you can see in paid marketing, Google AdWords and affiliate marketing is bundled together because in both cases, if you're getting any kind of leads, if you're getting any kind of information from this channel, which you can then uh, convert into customer, convert into revenue, you'll end up paying to these sources and you're paying to these sources for providing you the leads. Therefore, if uh, you're using Google AdWords and Google AdSense and double click ad exchange for running PPC campaigns, for running display ads, shopping ads, search engine ads, any, any kind of ad campaign that you're running or any kind of affiliate program you're running. So anytime there is a click, any anytime there is a lead generated, you'll end up paying some amount to this particular channel. And therefore, it is clubbed under paid marketing. And very often, this is the uh, part of your channel structure that will be consuming most of your digital marketing budget. Because unless you spend here, you don't get traction, you don't get uh, activity or results out of this particular uh, channel side. Then you have your organic SEO, which has on-page SEO and off-page SEO activities. You also have your social media outlets wherein maybe you're not investing in social media marketing, but if you're even maintaining your social media accounts and you're regularly publishing content in these accounts, then you are driving traffic from there also. And you're technically generating links there for customers to come back to your website. So it's all part of your organic SEO. So uh, chances are you will not be spending money here in terms of every conversion, every lead but you will end up spending money here for building content, for building presence. And a lot of that might happen by having in-house resources, in-house uh, skill set, and employing people who will be managing this part of your channel uh, independently. So link building uh, can in itself become one of the sub channel for your off-page SEO and you would be employing resources for actively building links uh, both classif uh, both in classified platforms as well as directories then you might be exploring social bookmarking as well as q a forums then uh, as part of your off-page seo you will also be involving your resources in developing content which could be of relevance to your target customer and to do that, you might be employing freelancers, you may be employing agency partners, or you may be having in-house uh, writers, in-house designers who would be working together for building blogs, articles, press releases, PDF submissions, PPT submissions uh, to various uh, article submission platforms. 
just so that you can drive traffic organically to your website. You can also be investing in image marketing on platforms like Pinterest and Instagram. And usually uh, this is also considered as an off-page SEO because a lot of customers can get impressed by your social presence and may want to explore more about your website and would land up clicking on the links available on your social handles. So uh, what you can do in terms of image marketing on these platforms is having a representation of your work culture, your, your product solution, your use cases and your customer testimonials, thereby once again adding to your overall brand image. Then video marketing is another off-page SEO that can give you a lot of indirect as well as direct traffic to your website which, which could be readily converted. And uh, while some large organizations can have in-house capability for creating video content to be published on their different digital channels, most of the time uh, within the digital marketing channel structure, this particular function is outsourced to agency partners and you would, ha you would have an in-house resource who would manage publication of this content. So content would not be prepared in-house, it would be prepared outside and provided to you and internally you will drive publishing of this content. Then uh, so social media outlets are also part of your organic S SEO as we, we discussed and you could have a dedicated resource who's working on managing uh, all these social media outlets and that that is why within your digital marketing channels uh, since social media is a channel, you can possibly have a social media executive or a social media manager. Then web trafficking is uh, a, an important aspect of digital marketing channel structure and it requires use of the state counter, webmaster tool as well as Google Analytics and involves a lot of technicalities, a lot of uh, data analysis and understanding and Usually either a consultant or a, a dedicated resource is maintained within the digital marketing channel structure and the insights, the learnings from this web trafficking uh, side of the channel gives information to the rest of the channels and rest of the hierarchy and drive their activities in a more integrated manner. Further expansion is also, also possible uh, in case of multiple products or accounts. So if the same company uh, for which the digital marketing team is working for, the same company has multiple uh, products or accounts, then they could have separate media managers, separate SEO managers or executives or separate uh, paid marketing teams to run their campaigns effectively because it's... It, practically impossible for one team to do that all that uh, very effectively then uh, some channels can be supported by agency partners while other can be completely in-house if you remember we discussed it previously that uh, organizations when they want larger control and when they want more flexibility and when they have a more long-term vision about shaping their digital marketing strategy when they are building their digital marketing channel structure in the beginning even though they may associate with agency partners because of lack of internal resources or internal capabilities eventually they like to have that independence and have that control on their digital marketing ability and therefore some channels and some activities within the channels could be supported by agency partners uh, like I mentioned in case of video marketing but most activities would be driven internally and full-time resources are usually uh, hired for managing different channels in the digital marketing context. So uh, this is a, an important critical step which you have to complete as a digital marketer as part of devising your digital marketing strategies you need to identify what are the channels you will be setting up what are the channels if they already exist you will be maintaining or developing further now next up we will discuss about setting digital marketing goals and allocating goals as well as kpis to each channel that you have identified as part of your strategy until then thank you